Okay, the camera's crooked. Right out of the gate, the camera's crooked. Is that any better? All right, guys. <laughs> this is Karen. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am bound and determined to create a little bit of a different style video. I'm just going to turn on the camera and film what I find interesting. So whether I wind up in a regular retail store and there are items that I want to talk about, or if I wind up in a restaurant and I want to show you what I'm eating, um, if I'm pulling shipping and I think the items are worthy enough to show you what I'm pulling, maybe I'll throw in high profit thrift finds. Who knows? I'm in a mood. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. You can leave a comment down below if you want to and say whether you like this style video, just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Today is Saturday and I am starting out by heading up to Peaceful Valley. This is the, I believe it's Amish owned furniture store where I ask them to create a desk for me. Now the desk is not ready, it's just the desktop that's taking 18 to 20 weeks because of the COVID backlog. But this place is busy. The items there are beautiful. I believe it's all built by Amish craftsmen, but they also have outdoor furniture like the Pollywood. And for like two years now, I've been on the hunt for a certain type of outdoor seating to encourage myself to enjoy my yard more. So that is what I am up to first. I'm gonna bring you along with me. I like bringing you guys along. I like to film little snippets of my life and then have you come comment on it of like if you saw something you liked or you share what you like to eat. So who knows what this video is going to be, but I'm going to throw it in. I'm going to mix it up. I'm a little bit stagnant right now. I want to feel excited about making a video and that used to happen in the beginning of me creating videos. I used to be like, oh, I'd get an idea and I would film it and it felt like fun. And lately this is becoming too much of a drudgery. Not that I don't appreciate being a YouTube creator, I absolutely do. But I really want to feel excited about my videos. So I thought, let me just bring a camera or two along with me and start to just a little bit of vlog style. I know that's going to be a lot of work, so it might be like an abbreviated vlog style. We'll see. But thanks so much for following. A special thank you to all of you who are buying me a coffee. I so appreciate you guys, and I'm so glad if I'm helping you out. You know, I don't know a lot. I feel like I know a little about a lot of things, and I'm always happy to share with you guys. That's the intent of this channel, to make me money, of course, but also to share what knowledge I've picked up in the eight years of reselling and being out there in the thrift stores and yard sales and such. So, all right, let's get on the road. Let's see how this video turns out. Hit the like and subscribe button, and as always, go out and get what's yours. So I am holding onto the steering wheel and also my GoPro. I don't want to take my eyes off the road, but I feel like turning on the camera to show you guys what the route looks like on the way to Peaceful Valley Furniture. So it is just a bunch of back roads after you get off the highway, I should say. It is just a route that brings you through farmland different little residential houses. I love these type of drives. You know, doing what I do for a living is very exhausting some days, but I can just get in the car and just look how beautiful this is. I'm hoping the GoPro captures this well. So like I said, I'm trying not to take my eyes off of the road at all, but I do want to film a little bit of driving once in a while to show you what the area looks like. I love it here. There's nothing like just getting in the car and taking a drive and seeing horses and sheep and cows in the fields, silos, farm fields, just really beautiful. That is a little one-room schoolhouse, I believe. Nope, it's a church. So this is what some of the houses look like around here. And 
this is a very common sight in this area. We share the road with all kinds of vehicles and when this happens, you have to just go slow and allow for other drivers on the road. And once the oncoming traffic is clear, he will pull over a little bit. Look how beautiful that is. And we go around. That's how that's done. Boy, I hope this footage comes out because it's just so pretty and so peaceful. This is also another common sight coming up where the Amish hang their laundry on their front porch. So oftentimes you see different Amish dresses blowing in the breeze. Sometimes they're black and sometimes they're beautiful shades of purple. Going over a little bridge with a with a crick underneath it. So here I'm just showing an image that Peaceful Valley Furniture has on their site and around here it truly does look that beautiful. So this is the chair that I am on the hunt for. It seems with the whole COVID pandemic, this kind of polywood is very hard to get. It's becoming more and more of a challenge to get these chairs. This picture is from their site. I'm looking for something like this in a solid color. And when I went there, they wound up having orange and a few two-tone. This is the price for one, two nineteen, but I feel this chair is well worth it because number one, they fold, which I love. You can put them away in a garage or in a storage shed, and it's plastic. Even though I'm not a big fan of plastic, I'm not really into sanding and staining wood furniture, and the wood does have more of a shorter life than the polywood. So here is the front of Peaceful Valley, what one of the stores, one of the locations look like, and just so much fun to shop here.
Okay, unfortunately, Peaceful Valley's lead time on the Pollywood chairs that I was interested in is at least 20 weeks, if not next spring. So I'm gonna try to think of someplace else to get uh, the Pollywood type of Adirondack chairs from my front yard. And I know it's not the lead time of the workmanship, it's the lead time of getting the materials. I guess that type of plastic is still back ordered from wherever it comes from. I imagine out of country because of COVID and, but it's still very fun to walk around in that store. I love that store. The, the music is like really peaceful. It's like piano music. You could just take a little nap. Really, really nice people that work there. So now I am on to, I think I'm gonna stop at a garden center and see what's going on there. A typical Saturday. So I'll see if I'm gonna film there. If not, we will go on to the next thing. Next we are on to Stoffers of Kissel Hill. This is a very large garden center slash grocery store all in one. I love coming here. Beautiful, beautiful plants. They have outdoor furniture, trees, all kinds of things. The only problem is their prices are very high. So while I love shopping here, most times I will pick up some plants, but I won't buy outdoor furniture, but I figured I'd stop today in case they were having a sale. Sure enough, they were 30% off, but they wanted almost $500 per chair, and I need two. So that is definitely a no. And here is a shot of the chairs that they do have. This is a stock photo, so they didn't have all of these colors but I'm not willing to pay $500 a chair. So we are moving onward. So after shopping at Peaceful Valley for the chairs and not finding them, and then going on to Stoffers of Kissel Hill and not finding them, I decided to go to Home Goods. And what did I find? Two genuine Pollywood chairs. I couldn't be more happy. So here I'm inserting a photo of how the chairs look in my front yard. Now I really didn't set out to get white. I thought maybe I would get a wood tone or something like that just to blend in, but I really like the white. So I go into Home Goods and on the second aisle, I couldn't believe my eyes, two genuine Pollywood chairs. These chairs go for $330 a piece. Yep, a piece because they last forever. And I got the two of them for $500. So I was just thrilled. They are the folding ones. They're the shape I wanted and I couldn't be happier. So I went out and got what was mine and now I have a fun place to sit in my front yard. So now we are going into Community A Thrift Store. Just a quick little pop in to see what's going on. I haven't been here in a while. I thought these postcard type art prints were pretty good. And I didn't really want them for the $6, but I might go back on Tuesday, half off Senior Citizen Day. If those are still there, I'll probably pick those up. 
Now this isn't a full shopping trip. It was just probably 15 minutes in and out of the store. Any time at all I'm near a thrift store, I always take time to pop in, even if it's just a quick run through to see what's going on, see what's on sale. The more times you can pop into a store, the better your chance of finding treasure. That's the way I look at it. And since this was a casual day of relaxing and shopping for myself, why not hit up Community Aid? I thought this teapot was pretty interesting. I think that says Jade on the bottom. I thought it said Japan, but it did have a little bit of a chip on the spout. When I do these kind of run-ins, just a quick run into the store, I'm really looking for something high profit. I'm not looking to do my regular bread and butter thrifting routine. So I am still trying to learn glass. I feel like this is gonna be a niche that takes me a very long time. This beautiful blue glass vase could have been vintage, could have been home goods. I truly have no idea, but I'm gonna keep looking at as many glass pieces as I can. If you recognize that glass vase, would you leave a comment down below? Thank you. Lead free, looks like somebody made it. That's nice that they put lead free so you knew it was food safe. At least I think that's what that means. I used to shop probably twice a week at this store and they had fairly good inventory. But as of about a year or two ago, I noticed a very big drop in the quality of what their items, you know, what kind of items came into the store. So I am going there less and less. I haven't been to this store in a long time, but I'm going to go back and try again. Now we used to do really well at this store, probably two to three cartloads, and then I could barely find five items. That's how bad it got. I think that was supposed to be a Yardro, um, you know, a fake, an imitation. I find it very interesting. Oh, $14.99. That's very high. I find it very interesting that this store is probably 10 miles, if I had to guess, maybe not even, from the large Goodwill that I go to, and such a vast difference in the quality of the items. I thought this mermaid gown was very good. I have sold quite a few wedding gowns. This was, or bridal gowns, this was in very nice shape. I might take a look at that on Tuesday. So each day, Community Aid has a different group of people um, receiving the sale. Sometimes it's heroes, meaning firefighters, teachers. Sometimes it is senior citizens and groups like that. Sometimes it's college students. Of course, I liked the wood bowl. I didn't do a lot of clothing. I probably picked up one or two pieces. I might show that in a clothing haul. I picked up a men's weightlifting tank shirt from Gold's Gym. And what else? That might have been the only piece I picked up clothing wise. I figured if I could touch and look at a lot of glass, it might help with understanding what's what in the glass world. Now, unless you guys are seeing something I'm not, you can tell that the quality and the workmanship is just not there with a lot of these items. I did not see anything for the majority of this store that was really that good. Now, if a person is just shopping for their own collection or, you know, things they find pretty, you know, that might be a good idea to shop here. 
So obviously this came from some sort of gift shop or antique store and her poor little arm was broken, which that could happen on the shelves, you know, so many people touching it. It doesn't necessarily mean that the employees are putting it out. Little iron hot plate that was overpainted. I thought this jar was very interesting. So as you can see, it's a terracotta. And I would imagine the metal insert is for a candle. So I didn't even read the sticker on the bottom, but I did look at this for quite a while. I thought the colors were very good. So what do we do? We take off the top one more time. <laughs> take out the insert. Now I want to see what the whole thing is about. So it is a candle holder. So then I try seeing if that candle will fit in it. I am too funny. When I'm having a relaxed day, I have more time. When I'm working, I'm full speed ahead and I am just really on a clip. But here I was just enjoying looking at everything and taking my time. Okay, so right away, this light green bowl is catching my attention. Now, I knew it wasn't Vaseline glass, you know, but I didn't know what this was. I have learned to hold pieces up to the light in case there is a small signature somewhere. And while I was doing this, a gentleman came up he saw me having the GoPro and he and I and his wife got into a 15 minute discussion about making videos on YouTube. So if you're watching, I'm sorry I didn't get your names. It was so nice speaking with you and thank you for viewing my videos. Very nice people. I get to meet so many of you and meet, you know, so many people out in the real world. And it is always a blessing to me when people come up to me and say, are you Lavender Clothesline? Or they ask about my camera or I never mind that. I'm always very humbled and very appreciative that I get to earn money doing this. It is great fun, a lot of work. But one of the main perks is that I meet so many nice people I probably wouldn't have met. So I count that as a real plus. Okay, look at all this glassware. It just looks like drudgery to me. <laughs> again, once again, kudos to you guys who sell glassware. And the last piece we're gonna look at is this footed pedestal bowl. I really liked the aesthetic of this. To me, this looks very mid-century modern. It was in great shape. I did try running a comp on this. Now there's no name, but I put in, I think, green and clear pedestal bowl. Uh, green and clear glass pedestal bowl and everything that came up I did not find the exact match but everything that came up was not a high dollar amount so that is a quick little run into community aid and now let's pull shipping on Sunday night Okay, so it is Sunday evening about six o'clock and I am getting ready to pull salt. So I figured I would turn the camera on and show you a little view of what's going on. So we're just gonna get right into it because I told myself that just take an hour and pull the salts and you can go back to watching the show alone. Do you guys watch alone on the History Channel? <laughs> One of my all time favorite shows. Now I have seen it before, but I am on round two. I love a Sunday evening where I just chill and watch some kind of show where everybody's struggling but me. But tonight I'm going to struggle for about an hour to find what has sold and at least get a jump on Monday morning. All right, let's get started. This is a bag of unfolded and unpacked away items I have been listing. Lots of jeans and all kinds of things, but I'm not going to deal with that right now. I will do that tomorrow morning. So we're just going to set that to the side. And I have my phone all ready to go. The first item that's sold is the North Face Woman's Camo Crop Sweatshirt. And I see it right here. This one's not folded yet either. 
So that's what that looks like. I haven't had this listed long. This blew out very quickly, $48.79. And just know that I picked all of this up in a thrift store, whether it's one or the other, most likely Goodwill, probably paid $5.75. Okay, next up, Ray Dunn Reusable Face Masks. I picked these up. I think it was around the Easter pickup. And let me remember where I put these. I'm thinking probably in scarves. So I'm going to just grab this. Sometimes I, I can not know where I put something, but most times I just let my brain think uh, how it thought in the beginning of why I put them in here. So let's see <laughs> let's see if that works out and if it's not in here I have no idea where it is how's that for transparency okay these are all scarves beautiful scarves and if it's not in here I'm thinking for some reason my mind would want to put it in jewelry so I'm just going to leave that here just know I'm not going to close up any of the bins because I'm trying to make this happen quickly here is my jewelry bin and these are the masks. So this is Ray Dunn um, reusable face masks. You get two in the pack. And I don't know what I paid for these. I think I paid $1.99 and they sold for $9.99. Just know the buyer pays shipping with all of this. Next up is the Dooney and Burke bag I just showed on a haul and I just listed it probably three days ago, $45.75. So I will go over to handbags. It is a blue and saddle brown pebble leather. I see it right through the bin. I love clear bins. So this is it here. Let's see if I can get this out one-handedly without hurting the strap. And I believe I paid either $4.99 or $6.99. So that is item number three. All right, we're moving along at a clip. Next up, Nike Men's Air Griffey Hyper Jade Sneakers, $48.79. And I paid, I believe, either $7.47 or $9.99. Let's go see if we can find them. Sneakers, men's, Nike, hyper something or another. <laughs> okay, this is sneakers here. And I believe these are them right here. I'm gonna pull these out. I have actually a gray bag, Walmart bag on these because I don't know why. I don't think the regular bags I have were big enough, the storage bags. So that is what that looks like. Is this the right one? Yes, it is. $48.79. I'm pretty sure I paid $7.47 for these. All right, next item up. I'm gonna bring my phone with me as we race around the basement. Pure Jill Medium Petite White Linen Pants. So this will just be in medium pants. Here are the pants right here. Here are medium. Let's see if I can, oh, this is a heavy one. I'm gonna have to put the camera down, hang on. Okay. And I'm not sure if these are folded yet. I'm gonna have to look. I see white pants down there. Are these them? Linen Pure Jill Slim Medium Petite. These are them. I actually dropped a pair. Okay. I'm going to leave that bin down. And like I've shown before, I just write myself these little labels which come out at the time of shipping, but it helps me find the item easier. And I forgot my phone. <laughs> this is a lot easier when I'm not filming. But I wanted to film for you guys. I know you guys like seeing me run around my basement like a crazy person. Okay, Banana Republic, Women's Medium Romantic Eyelet Lace Blouse Peasant. So it's Medium Banana Republic Tops and Vests, and it's a solid. So women's shirts medium, but see how this says prints? It would not be in there. It's going to be in this one because this is solids and the blouse is a solid. Sit here, left of center, lacoste. The only thing that's a challenge for me is when I'm behind, oh, I'm always behind, on uh, folding. Sometimes it's hard. This is Sundance. 
hard to find the item or know where it is because it could be on a rack. I mean, it's not hard to find. Here's Banana Republic. Pretty sure this is it. Let me take a look. Uh, nope, that's not it. Let's go into it and see what it looks like. Get rid of there. Okay, so it's like a real eyelet yellow. I think this is hung up. I don't think I've folded this one yet. Digging, digging, digging. That's dress born. All right, let's come over here and look at the rack. Okay, sweaters, jackets, looking. Am I looking right at this? Okay, I have no idea where this is. <laughs> Unless I called it a print. I'm tired, it's been a long weekend. I'm actually going to dump a little bit so I can see this bin, see better. All right, I'm actually gonna put the camera down and see if I can find it that way. Okay, so I found it. I just needed to dig a little bit deeper. You know, if I had to do this over again, I would pretty much do it the same way, but these solid bins are so much harder and more of a challenge to find something than the clear bins because the clear bins let in light. So as you're digging, you can see things better, but I did find it, so that's all good. And we are on to the next item. Turn my phone back on. When I come down here to do this, I should um, set my phone to not shut off. Okay, Patagonia men's medium gray sweatshirt. I have no idea what item this is. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, this has got that fish logo thing. Oh, now my burner's going to turn on. Okay. So I have added another rack of men's clothing because I've been really picking up men's clothing. And hopefully you'll be able to see here because it's a little bit dark here. So we are looking for a sweatshirt, Patagonia with a fish on it. I feel like I'm coming to it. Wow, it is really dark here, sorry guys. Hmm. <laughs> Patagonia, where are you? Okay, it's not this. So today I had a really enjoyable day. I filmed some of it, so you guys might have already seen it. I went to um, Home Goods and bought myself Adirondack chairs for the front yard. My community is an old fashioned community where everybody sits on their front lawns and we all go to each other's yards. So very fun. And I needed um, chairs, better chairs to do that. Okay, am I looking right at this? Where are you, Patagonia? That's not it. These are t-shirts. Okay, maybe I did fold it. Maybe I'm more ahead of the game than I realize. <laughs> Let me go take a look men's sweatshirts getting a workout tonight okay so men's sweatshirts are here in colors so we're either going to be in colors or sweatshirts gray and black let's look there first patagonia sweatshirt fish on it this is probably it right here is this it yes it is well that was too easy it was right in the bin and there is the fish logo When I catch up on all of this folding, truthfully, it's like two days later and the racks are filled again, but it's much easier to find things because then all of the clothing is in bins. But when it's on racks, you're never quite sure where you are in the process. Okay, these trays sold. I sold both the last sets of four, so I'm gonna need two of these sets. So we will take these out, move this stuff down, move my phone down. And those blew out the door. So these were the ones that I picked up for, what did they cost me, 47 cents a piece? And I have now sold all the sets. Sets of four were $33 plus shipping. 
All right, next up is Jones Studio 22W Stretch Knit Tank Dress. I'm gonna have to go into this because I have no idea what dress this is. 22W, I'll bring the phone with me. And this is definitely folded because I've had this one for a while. So this back wall here is dresses and 22W, I said, right? Yeah, this would be in darks and solids. And it is Jones Studio. Oh, I think I see it. I think it's this one. Is it this one? Nope. RM Richards. Up oh, Jones Studio. 22W. That's it there. I will try to have Lisa <laughs> insert um, photos on the screen so you can truly see what the item looks like. $23.17. Most likely I paid about $6. Okay. Let's see what's up next. J. Crew Women's City Fit cropped pants. They're a size 8 camo. I guess I should just stay down this way. And by the time I am done pulling, this whole aisle will just be filled with bins that need to get put away. But I have learned to put the bins away at the end. That took me a while to catch on to. I was a little bit slow learning that because you're just reopening the same bins. Okay, so it's pants and I said eight. Eight is medium. And was that this? Yes, pants medium. See, now if I had put this away, we wouldn't have been able to, we would have had to reopen it. That's what I wanted to say. This is very hard to do with one hand to dig. All right, we're looking for camo pants, J. Crew City Fit. Lots of leopard pants. What are those? Those look interesting, soft surroundings. Ah, the last one, of course, J. Crew 8 City Fit. There they be. I have to say, using the bin system, these heavy bins, gives me a really good workout. I kind of feel like CrossFit when I'm rushing around to do this. I'm going to tilt you around, see the mess it starts to make. But no other way of doing it. All right, what did I do with my phone? You know, that's why I have a strap on my phone, so I can strap it to my body because I spend more time looking for my phone. There it is. But sometimes when I put the bandolier on, this is called a bandolier and you, you wear it like a crossbody, sometimes it just makes it where it's flopping all over the place, so. Okay, the North Face, why is that listed there twice? I must have two of those. I'm gonna have to take a look at that. Uh, Patagonia. Okay, what are we up to? Men's Timberland boots. We're gonna take a look at those. And they sold for $47.99. And this is boots here. This is gonna be an awful video. <laughs> All right, what are the Timberlands? Are these Timberlands? They are. I got lucky, they're right here. Okay, I'm gonna try to grab the phone also. Walk it back to the table. Okay, so that is what our table is looking like so far. Let's keep going. Okay, the next item up is the Howard Miller Mantle Clock, which is right here. I'll try to take this down with two hands so I don't wind up dropping it. And this sold for $59.40, buyer pays shipping. It's a really pretty clock. I don't remember what I paid for it, <laughs> a couple of dollars. All right, Tommy Bahama Men's Extra Large Golf Polo, Island Zone. No idea where this is. Okay, let's take a look. So it's a, a golf polo in gray. Don't see this here. What are these polos? Okay, not on this rack. Might be on this rack over here. And I don't see it there. Let's look in polos. 
I don't know how this lighting is going to be for you guys. Maybe Lisa can brighten the video for us. All right, polos are over here. This is a solid color. So solids would be in here. Yep, way too heavy. I'm going to lift it down two hands. Okay, so we're looking for a Tommy Bahama gray. Oh, there's a gray one. Nike. <laughs> Almost. Ping. Uh, okay. Let me see. Let me see. Is that a gray one? That's a green one. Gives new meaning to digging in the bins. Okay, I'm going to have to put the camera down and take a look for this. I will be back. Okay, so it winds up that I should have looked at the shirt. I should always go into the listing on my phone. I didn't realize that the shirt was striped. And I was looking in solids, and I should have been looking in this bin stripes. So let's see. Yep. <laughs> right here, Tommy Bahama. Extra large, extra large golf polo island zone. So... I know sometimes when I'm rushing to get this done, it just takes longer. I should just take my time and really look at the listing to see exactly what I'm looking for because sometimes I'm looking for the wrong item. Okay, bamboo trays I got. Lane Bryant nightgown. Okay, so that is either on uh, the first rack or it is in sleepwear, uh, $16. Oh, did I say what I got for the Tommy Bahama? $29.99, and I paid $4.75. Lane Bryant, $14.16, black nightgown. That is either going to be on this rack. Let's see. Pajamas. Pajam oh, this might be it. Nope, that's a dress. I know this is somewhere right around here. Either that or I folded it. Okay, it might be in the bin because I am not seeing it here. It's a jacket, a vest. Oh, oh, you know what? I am seeing this sold, so I'm going to pull this now. This is a J. Jill linen top, and I remember seeing that this sold this morning or yesterday, so I'm just going to lay that here and then run over to, okay, walk over to sleepwear. Um, sleepwear. Let's pull this bin. See if the Lane Bryant nightgown is in here. What did I say? Black 1416, right? There it is. Lane Bryant 1416 nightgown. So I will pull that one out. All right, next up, Tommy Bahama. <laughs> I should have looked at this. A knit shirt, yellow, pullover. Layering, stretch. Let, let me go into it so I know what I'm looking for here. Okay, so this is just a casual, it's like a t-shirt. I'm going to look on the racks. It won't be in polo shirts. It's either going to be in t-shirts or um, just thermal knits. Let me see if I see this here. Um, these are bicycle or not bicycle, uh, cycling shirts. Oh, this might be it here. Tommy Bahama, this is it. Well, that was easy. Piece of cake. <laughs> All right, now what did I do with my phone? <laughs> you sure you guys want this footage? I'm not quite sure. My phone is over here. All right. It does go a lot quicker when I'm not filming. Pioneer Women um, Curtains. I think these are the last of them. I'm sorry, guys. The Tommy Bahama Yellow Shirt, $15.99, and I paid $4.75. Three Pioneer Women Floral Sheer Cafe Curtains. So they're not the drapes. They're the cafe curtains, $16.80. And hopefully I will know where these are. Curtains and drapes down there. Let me see if I can. Oh, these are heavy. These are quilts in here. So we are filled up with quilts. All right, so this is the bin. And these are the Pioneer Women. Pioneer Woman, three cafe curtains. So we will bring that out. You know what? Let me grab my phone and take that with me. Okay, so this is, <laughs> looks like a little kid who didn't clean their room. All right. 
And that is that. Our table is piling up. I forgot to say how many sold. I don't know, a lot. <laughs> so I will be doing this for a while. A Nike shirt. I just listed this. In fact, I think it might be in this bag here because I haven't put this stuff away yet. This is all photographed. It's all washed, photographed. And I'm just going to put the phone, not the phone, I'm going to put the camera down so I can find this t-shirt. And this is the shirt that sold, Nike t-shirt. Now I got this for free from somebody, they didn't want it. And it did have a little tiny light mark here. And I washed this, so not sure how that light mark didn't come out. Uh, $5 I let that go for because I just got it for free. I was just letting it go through. Next up is a Banana Republic size 14 metallic thread dress. And I'm going to look quickly here so I don't dig. But I think it is folded. Yeah. So we'll go back to dresses. Okay, and I set a size 14, and I think I would consider this a print because it's like a metallic thread. So let me just kick pants over that way, and this would be a size large because 14 goes into a large. Okay, so we are looking for a metallic thread dress. This looks like it here. Banana Republic, size 14, metallic thread. See how easy that is? <laughs> easy peasy. All right. I know it seems silly to walk back and forth, but with this much stuff going on, sometimes it just makes me feel more organized. I'm actually going to hang these guys up here to get them off the table. Sometimes I do clothing all at once when I'm not filming and I'll pull all the clothing together. But for now, I'm just I'm just doing it this way. Okay, Ann Taylor, did I say what the dress sold for? $14.40. Ann Taylor, let's see what this one is. Romantic fishnet lace top, it's see-through. And I got $17.70, it's new. So Ann Taylor, I don't know if I would consider this lace a print or not, but we are going to look in solids first. So medium solids. We pulled that one already, didn't we? Let's see. Sleepwear, medium solids down there. Okay. So here's an eyelet lace and Taylor. I think this might be it. Yes, and Taylor loft, and it's a new top. And I said what we got right, seventeen seventy, and I paid four twenty five for that one. Okay, Banana Republic. Mad Men Sweater, Short Sleeve Ivory Pull-On. I'm going to start going into each of these so I can really tell what I'm looking for here. Okay, so it is just an ivory sweater, medium. And did I go past sweaters? I did not. Okay, i got to get some more lighting down here. So this would be in Sweaters Medium Cream Beige. I have so many sweaters that they not only get um, sorted by the size and if they're printed, but by the color. So let's see. Let us see. Oh, I love this sweater. I don't know why that's selling. I gotta take a look at that. This might be it here. That's Talbots. I didn't say Talbots. <laughs> Where's my phone? Banana Republic. Where is this one? I'm thinking this wound up in tops because it's a very fine knit. I'm going to look in tops and I will be back. Okay, I am such a boob. When I was digging for the eyelet lace one, it was right here. Sometimes a fine knit gets put into a different category. So Lisa folded this for me, so it's all her fault. She'll appreciate that when she's editing this video. Your fault, Lee. Uh, this should have been in sweaters. That's how it was listed and it got put into a top spin. But no worries, we found it. I figured that, you know, after a while, you realize if it's not 
being found where you're looking, where the second choice is of where um, it will be. All right. I'm going to stop there because I have to get serious about this. And um, yeah, so that is a little Sunday night ship with me, pole shipping with me. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Go out and get what's yours.